Hey nerds, welcome to Jared Barry Acts. Today we're going to react to Season 4, Episode 12, a.k.a. the Season 4 finale of Teen Wolf, entitled Smoke and Mirrors. This is a wrap-up on Season 4, a season that's blown through a lot of story angles, blowing through the Mute, the Wendigos, the Orphan, the, uh, the, the, the Assassins, the Chemist, some of the Eichenhaus stuff, getting through the Deadpool... Everything else in between with the two lingering storylines being Peter wants to be Alpha yet again and Kate Argent is back wanting to be a part of the Argent family, wanting to control her abilities, wanting to know how Scott dismantled her family and turning Scott into a berserker. They have to go down there and stop old foes. Peter has tasked Malia with killing Kate. Kate has Scott to probably want to kill his friends. That's really where we are. Liam's trying to balance his life, trying to figure out if he wants to be a part of this pack, wants to know if they can keep him safe, scared of the berserkers. He reeks of fear. I think he kind of conquered it in the last episode. There's a lot of different things going on all at once. And we're going to see how this wraps up and see how season five sets up as well. This is the last 12 episode, 12 episodic se uh, season. Season 5 and Season 6 will both be 20 episodes. So after this, we have 40 episodes left of Team Wolf. A little over a month left of watching the show. We'll see how everything wraps up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. No series episodes on Sundays, but normally we do have tribute reactions all throughout the week to everything else. There's links to everything in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. You can watch the entire show of Team Wolf Uncut on Patreon. There is no Blue Bear logo. That's just there for copyright reasons. I can't upload without it. I hate it just as much as you do. Also on Patreon, Team Wolf, the originals, all the Marvel series, Invincible, yada, yada, yada. Shameless plug. I don't care. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. And let's go ahead and just hop right into the season four finale. Kira, wake your dumb ass up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. You're not dumb at all. You do be getting beat up, though, a lot. Let me move my cursor. Get that out. Of God damn, bro. Just bashing her head into the fucking wall. She sees the Taddy Addy. I know her first thought. Aren't you a little small to be a Bezeka? Aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? Bro, that had to just break her fucking heart into a million pieces. She saw the Taddy. I'm going to have to do a better job of covering that up. What did you do to her? How? I appreciate that. Okay. That's Story. Before you go on your fucking villain monologue, I really appreciate Scott or Kira saying, what did you do to him? Realizing that immediately that's not Scott. I'll, we'll see how that progresses with their relationship down the line because that may get some trauma to her. But like, what'd you do to him? Like, that's not Scott. What's going on? Change that. Not a thought behind those eyes. Oh, let me pull out this fucking Doug Demidon, bro. Papa Sean Gold Knife. Papa Tunde. Wolf. Last one for season four. Man, I can't get jiggy with that intro, bro. What they got, my fucking... They didn't even show him stab her. They just had him make a downward motion and her on a different fucking camera go... Ah, uh, Liam, go home. You're not coming with us. Why not? Because it's a full moon. If everyone is sufficiently freaked out, I say we get going. We Glad you have all your buttons to reveal the V-neck. True, not without Liddy. Peter going just gives me fucking not good vibes. I hope this works. You trying to pick up a scent too? Yes, it's powerful. <clears throat> Very powerful. Styles, bro, you're not. 
<laughs> he want he wanted to blow that. He wanted to be like, that's not that's not the, yeah. no. What's up, Mason, brother? Oh, there's her camera phone. Quite literally, camera phone. No? How do they do it? Akira. Got to How do they trigger it? You got to remove the thing. Pain. Pain. With pain. Without love. Pain. I can't get enough. Omega's resonating with him. You know any other mantras? <laughs> Yeah, I do. Sun, the moon, the truth. What three things cannot long be hidden? I'm kind of cracked, to be honest. Liam, look at me. What three things cannot long be hidden? What three things? Sun. The moon. Truth. That's it. Say it again. Yeah, that seems to work for every fucking wolf. Sun. The moon. Derek. We're okay. Son. Yeah, that Alpha Beta Omega ship is just between you and Pete. The truth. Very tall, yo, but. Yeah, that's the Hell Family Secret recipe for some goddamn no bake cookies right there. Did y'all didn't have to cross the border? Like, y'all didn't have to go across, like, customs or something? Right. Oh, my fuck! Yeah, that's a, that's a big ass skeletal. Nah! Oh, damn. God. Fuck that. Oh. All right. Fucking unload them. I know I don't hold that many shells, but motherfuck. Yeah, little Derek got, got stabbed a few times. Hey, Derek. I don't like all y'all hovering around him like that. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the. I don't like the scenery and the shot they're setting up with that. Save him. Oh, Styles knows. Styles. Did he bring Greenberg? He didn't bring Greenberg. Fuck. Nah, man. You gotta fight through that bullshit. Now, don't be fucking playing with me in this finale. Stop! 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 stop. We gotta figure out where we are. The berserkers at the school. If you're gonna need firepower, a lot. What do we do now? You better get my fucking parish on board, duck. duck. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm trying to see if that one's if that one's Scotty or not. I think Peter knows that's Scott too. That's his that's his moment. This is it. Big as you're gonna get, so enjoy it. I had to give you a career to destroy it. Damn, bro. Came on, grab you by your motherfucking throat. How much do they pay you? Way more than you're worth. Oh, is this the Calaveras? Fuck yeah, bro. It's like Uncle Jack and his crew rolling up, bro. That's so fucked. Perish. Perry. Motherfucking Big Christopher. Damn, and them all Gertrude. Okay, bro. She showed up with the motherfucking revolver. They won't know they're killing Scott. Peter will, though. Peter fucking will. Damn, bro. Scott out here like motherfucking Thanos right now. Mason, dog. He said, fuck it. Ah, big ass, big strong hand ass fucking backhand, bro. Got you slide across the goddamn room. Another backhand. Double kill. Hit y'all the fuck. Hey, bro, hold that grenade. Oh, C4. Oh, is that a Claymore? I can't tell. Oh, I'm gonna fucking do a Claymore at him. Oh. Yeah. Damn. God, bro, that's not Papa Stalinsky, bro. That's Papa Sheriff. God okay? damn, Daddy Styles done came in with the motherfucking hold this. <laughs> What the fuck? He said, it's Scott, it's Scott. And then they show a fucking... 
But they stay having the women getting fucked up in this show, bro. It's so wrong. Every time they show somebody, Kira gets backhanded 24-7. Every time they show somebody getting beat up, bro. Oh, my God. It's so fucked. It's so fucked. As soon as he came out of that, he fucking right hooked Malia. For what? You could have had him right hook <laughs> fucking Peter or Liam or something. But nah, he just walked up and cracked Malia right in her shit. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Oh, he done pulled out the, the big D, brother. But you got one shell in there, huh? So that's why he went and got that strain of almost said vervain. That's why he got that strain of Wolfsbane. To make a Wolfsbane yellow tip bullet. You're not a monster. You're a werewolf. Like me. Yeah, I'll give him the same speech he gave you. You try to copy Derek, nice copy, and you have you have you tried roaring at him? Like you could give like a little scream. Yeah, man, you starting off just like you start off episode one with a big ass scream. The true alpha breaks free of the berserk. Ew. You, you could have done that so much better. You, Pete. The only one who knew as much as Arjun about berserkers, about the new wall. You taught Kate. You don't deserve your power. Not power. This man, Peter, bro. Uh. This man. Oh. Oh. Damn, Malia just immediately. Oh, damn, there she goes. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, sorry, he... sweetheart. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> but if that wasn't the most how the Grinch stole Christmas ass voice I ever heard. I'm sorry, sweetheart. We'll talk about this later. I can't even do it. I'm sorry. It is kind of cool. He has that wolf form, though. That that extra. It's not his full his full gargoyle demon wolf form, but it's still pretty cool. <sighs> he said, "End it, business, because you ain't getting another fucking shot." She said, "Bring it, bitch." She's an absolute badass, though, for being a... Oh. Desert Wolf. That's gotta be Malia's mother. I would like to think... Shaquille, I would like to think they had somebody with the bag of kibbles and bits off in the corner shaking to get the dog to come in, but that's just me. God damn! Immediately for the throat! I might eat your face. Oh. Derek? Butt ass naked? Derek got his fucking dangling out, bro. Pushing his fucking thumbs into a berserker's fucking face. Breaking the skull off. Whole body gone. Did somebody get him a tail? Yuck. Because <laughs> somebody get him a fig? By the way, <laughs> Derek, Derek is for sure not Malia's mother. I, I don't think. If, that, if we go that route, I'm going to be very entertained by this show. Damn, left hook. Spin. Oh, nice little flip. That was some Liu Kang shit. I've been... Peter, I've been telling him to fight like a fucking alpha since he became one. Thank you. Somebody in their coffin. Water done went down the wrong pipe. Oh, off the wall. Look at style. He's like, come on, brother. Oh! Oh! Kill me. 
God, bro, he picked you up and tossed you like a month like a sack of taters. He said, hey, bro, hold this. I threw a whole fucking church pew at my man. Yeah, he said block that. Yeah, I'm blocking that too. Yeah, I'm blocking that bullshit too. Some what else you got? Nothing. You know what the fuck I am, bro? I'm a true alpha and a goddamn co-captain. Sure you can. Damn, bro. He just fucking staged fatality your ass. Good shot right there. That's good cinematography. Ah, sleep. Imagine being a wolf and getting... You just didn't get yelled out of your wolf form, brother. You got knocked the fuck out like Friday. Why does... <laughs> Why they got him dressed like fucking Ben Stiller, bro? <laughs> fucking Zoolander when he's in the coal mine. Oh, <laughs> Papa, I got the black lung. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. That's a solid shot. That's good shit right there. Damn you, Chase, him popping off like that. She died saving her friends. Who would you die for? Fucking let her know, bro. You're not gonna kill me. And you're not gonna catch me. Not you. Not Peter. And not the Calaveras. You ain't mentioned Derek, though. <laughs> Still, let me be clear to you two. This kid's the best talent I've seen in years. So he's your responsibility now. You boys are going to stick together. You're going to look out for each other. And you're going to have each other's backs. You got it? That's kind of the plan anyways. We got it. That boy's the best talent in years, but I don't think he scored a fucking goal in that last match against Brett. We done got Pete up in Eichen. They put it. Is he in the same cells? Third out, Willie. This motherfucker got scared shitless. Right? Is that how we end it? It is how we end it. So I think right there in that moment, and I could be wrong, but that almost seems like a uh, a farewell to to Derek maybe for a while in a sense, because of their, their nod to each other, right? It's just like, um, shit, I don't want to, I guess it's not really spoilers if you don't know the context, but sometimes there's just a mutual understanding of that nod to one another. And I think a good example is like a, a Walter White to a Jesse Pinkman, just a little, a nod. It's, it's a mutual thing and there's, there's no other word said, but it's a, it's a mutual understanding between the two. Looking for the desert wolf. Now, I don't know. My nose is... I have a nose here. It's driving me crazy. Uh, the desert wolf, I don't know who it could be. Part of me is like, is it Talia? Does she fake her death? Blah, blah, blah. Seems like the shit they would do. But it could be something completely different. It could be somebody else from the Hale family. Or it could be something else that's um, just fresh if they, if they want to go that route. I think it's a farewell for Chris, too. I think this was his last season. It feels like he's going off with the Calaveras, who's going to leave them alone. That kind of negates. She was like, oh, once you bite your own and turn somebody on your own, Scott, come find me. Oh, 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 oh. 
they felt the Calaveras kind of felt a little unimportant. The whole thing to telling Chris, you know, we having him repeat, we hunt those that, that hunt us, unless that was a message for him to hunt Kate, seems kind of pointless. The Berserkers are easily defeated without ever really being fully explained. We know the Argents know about them, but they didn't give the exposition to the audience. Again, the Deadpool list kind of came and went. It was kind of lackluster. Uh, the orphans, the chemists, the mutes, those host situations, they, they played their role. They could have been expanded on more and it felt more like a threat rather than just a flash in the pan. We didn't get a whole lot of Scott and Kira's relationship building in this season like I thought we would have. It was kind of came and went. They had moments, again, flash and pans. They had their first real date. They had a kiss. They kind of officially are together. You know, they had their first date. We had more focus on Styles and Malia in their relationship, kind of like breaking off for a minute because she doesn't know how to trust people, and then coming back together was nice. We had Peter's master plan in play, which was a nice little reveal, especially with the whole Meredith thing. Kate kind of felt it wasn't needed. I don't think Kate Argent was needed in any of this. I think you could do that without having Kate Argent at all. The wear Jaguar, there's no explanation on it. One good thing they did with the Kinema, they did with uh, everything else they've kind of introduced. The wear Coyote was like, there's a small explanation. The wear Coyote, you you get the sense of where she's been from, what she was doing. She was an actual Coyote running around. She kind of has almost the same powers as a wolf. They explain the Kitsune, they explain the Nogitsune, they explain the foxes, the demons, they explain the Kinema. There's no real explanation for what the wear Jaguar can do. Is it just the powers of a Jaguar? There's also no... Uh, I mean, unless in that moment of Derek, Derek had to die to evolve, to turn into that wolf, right? He kind of had to like pass out to turn into like a fully transformation to be able to turn into a wolf like his mother before him. Which, does, is Peter ever going to know about that? That that happened? Is he going to be envious of that ability? I did like the blue eyes coming up showing that they killed somebody. I thought it was going to be this, this desert wolf they were looking for. Uh, it kind of felt like for a moment that was Captain Marvel showing up in Endgame. But instead, it was it was Derek who had fully evolved, something you're never going to do. I think it would have been nice for Derek and or Chris to kill Kate in that moment. If Derek would have... I would have been really pissed if Derek would have died right there. I would have been really upset. Like really, 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 really upset if that was his death. Because it was so anticlimactic. It was so anticlimactic that I had the feeling that that wasn't happening. Right, and Derek's a character, something happens that you should feel emotion towards. Not just, oh, wow, he... Uh, and that's the end of it. I do like Braden's character. I like a lot of the things that they did, but it just... I think it falls flat in some areas in being... Trying to be a cohesive story that you don't need Kate Arjun for. I think if you just would have had Peter, especially after him killing Jennifer and saying, I've always been the Alpha, and then kind of slowly having tidbits of information, but not full reveals that it was his plan, that would have made the most sense. The thing with the $117 million, like, where is that? Does Peter have it? Did it go back to him? Did Kate put it somewhere? Do they know? Like, yeah, they had they had the Deadpool and the, the, the machine and the whole benefactor thing, but, like, it's not clearly explained. I do think this takes a step back from the last few seasons. 3B, 3A, Hell, even season two are really good. I don't know where I put season four just yet. I really don't. I think this was my favorite episode of the entire thing. First half first half of this episode, I really thought this was going to be a horrible finale. The second half kind of saves it with some flashes and some cool moments. I think it gave me my favorite kill with, with Papa Stalinsky taking out, blowing up the, the berserk with the Claymore. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't know. It feels weird. It feels like a weird season. So Smoke and Mirrors, Scott and Styles uh, return to La Iglesia in order to save the pack from Kate. It seems like they never really had a clear direction about what they wanted to do. So that is obviously, and also they never move, right? They don't move. Kira's family. The Yukimoras, they don't move. So... Also, I, it's kind of good. The, the focus wasn't completely on styles throughout the season because we had a whole season based around styles. This season feels kind of more noted towards Lydia and kind of some other members. 
uh, I will I will change one thing about the finale before I read the 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 title for episode one for season five is. Scott being broken out of his berserker rage, out of that form, felt also anticlimactic. I do like that it was Liam. I do like what he had said, but you could have made that so much more emotional. So much more emotional. I'm I'm glad that it was Liam in that moment. I think you can still even have him say that stuff, but but I think you have him holding Styles in that situation, about to kill Styles, Styles crying and screaming that like Scott me it's your best friend scott it's me it's your brother stop like what are you doing like come on like blah 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 like you helped me when i had a demon inside me like come on scott blah, 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 blah. and then you could have liam off in the corner like badly injured saying you're not a monster you're a werewolf like me you have that moment he kind of drops styles realizes what's going on and kind of have him at the end while he's holding kira him and scott come up and then him and him scott and styles share a hug and a moment in that way i think that's how you make that better it makes it more emotional more in depth what they did there was kind of lackluster the fight between peter and and scott was really good i didn't mind that it just feels like kate's kate's gone they may she managed to get away some fucking how the calaveras are going after her and Derek seems to be with brayden going after the desert wolf so We'll see what's in store for season five. I don't know where it goes. I have no fucking idea. I literally have nothing. Hopefully more of, of Styles and Malia, Scott and Kira, um, Lydia, Liam, those characters. Uh, I hate that Chris seems like he's gone, and I hate that it seems like Derek may potentially be gone, but if that's the case, thank you for the time on the show. Really two amazing characters. And uh, yeah, season four, episode 11, Episode 12, excuse me, Smoke and Mirrors. Season 5, Episode 1 is Creature of the Night. Tomorrow, being a Sunday, will be the recap for Season 4. We may have a little bit longer of a rant there about everything. Soft recap, In Memoriam, Jerry Awards, those type of things over there. Favorite episodes and things of that nature. And uh, yeah. And then that following Monday, be Season 5, Episode 1. So until then, as always... Links and everything in the description box down below. You can watch season one through four uncut of Team Wolf over on Patreon as well as many other shows. Links and everything, including the Twitch stream, all that stuff is down there. Playlist is up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.